So I'm going to be playing Pitfall 2, which was originally released on the Sega. Uh, I've inserted 9 credits because I'm really not good at these kinds of games. We'll see how this goes. Um, how do I jump? Okay. So that's how you jump. Uh, I mean, the graphics aren't bad. They could, well, I fell. They could be worse. Sega had increased the graphics from 8-bit to more of a 3D thing. Um, so, it was better. Um, which is good. But, um, along the same lines, though, it's still pretty grainy. Um, the colors are actually really good, though. Damn it. Yeah, the graphics... Oh, bugger. Uh, the graphics aren't wholly bad. I mean, the colors are actually really good. These faces on the trees are kind of creepy. Um... It's a classic side-scroller. I feel like you can't really go wrong with that. I thought that was just a hole. I guess not. Um, okay. Um, I died. That's awesome. So, let's try this again. Told you guys I really suck at these kinds of games. I mean, the character is cute. I mean, it's literally just a low resolution kind of guy. Look at that. I actually grabbed onto something. Um, so you're basically just trying to avoid doing what I just did. Um, Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I feel like you should be able to jump quite a bit further because that keeps on happening. Um, I mean, as far as the scenario goes, what more can I really say? You're jumping over things. It's called Pitfall for a reason. There are holes. I mean... You're literally just jumping over holes and things in the ground and things coming at you that are trying to kill you. There's a reason it's called Pitfall, guys. Um, your score goes up the further that you get without dying. Uh, and as far as my reaction <laughs> with this being a late 20th century game and this being the 21st century. I mean, I grew up in these kinds of games, so I don't really have a reaction to these things, <laughs> um, aside from the fact that I really suck at them, as we can see. Um, I'm going to fall purposely, because I want money. Um, you know, these games we're just the building blocks of what we have now. Without these side scrollers, you wouldn't have any of the games that we have nowadays. It's just what you grew up on. I mean, I'm a 90s baby. And I remember playing games like this in Galaga. Oh gosh. Um, and loving every minute of it. I somehow do not see this ending well. Uh, yep. Told you guys that wouldn't end well. Um, I actually think they remade this one. If I'm not mistaken. Um, into a more recent game. But I could be mistaken. Um, yeah. 
I mean, that's that's really kind of my summary on Pitfall. It's an oldie but a goodie. I just know I really suck at these games. <laughs> um, but like I said, the graphics, they're there. It's for Sega. So they're not 8-bit, but they're by no means the greatest things in the world. But they're better than, you know, the NES or the SNES. And the colors are actually very vivid. Um, that could also be because I'm playing it on a very high-quality screen. Um, characters, you got one character that you're using. And you have your bad guys that you can't really make out what they were in most cases. It's Pitfall. That's your scenario. You're trying to avoid the pitfalls. Scoring, the further you go, the more uh, points you get without dying. Um, like I said, reaction. Without these games, you wouldn't have the games that we have today. And I grew up in these games, so it's really no big deal to me. Um, connections between this games and more recent ones, like I said, they're side-scrollers. These are what we grew up on. These are the building blocks for our more current games. Without these games, we wouldn't have our more recent games. 